Hey guys, it's Aeon here, back with another video about Railgun T. This is probably going to be a pretty quick video and one for the anime only watchers. So if you have already read the Index Light novels or are generally well versed about the series, then you probably know a whole lot about Frenda already. However, I also want to make videos for anime only watchers, in addition to the more hardcore fans like myself. So I want to make a variety of content on this channel to appeal to both demographics, hence why I made this video. If you have already watched Railgun T episode 20, then you will have watched the epic showdown between Frenda and Yumiya Rako. Rako is eventually defeated, and Frenda arranges to meet up with Saturn one week later from these events. However, after a quick time skip, we learn that Frenda never actually made it to Saturn's house. But why was this the case? During this week, during the time skip that is, in the main canon of Index, the Battle Royale arc takes place. This arc is in Index Season 3, Episodes 4-6, to or Old Testament 15 in the Index Light Novel, and it also appears in the Index Manga. During this arc, rebellious dark side organisations launch their plans to attempt to either kill the leader of Academy City, Alistair Crowley, or attempt to negotiate with him while the other factions such as Item attempt to protect Alistair from these groups. Item was tasked with stopping Kikine Teitaku's faction, aka School, from achieving their goals, notably stopping Kikine from obtaining the tweezers. The tweezers allowed the user to pinch nanoparticles and analyse them. Kikine was planning to use Alistair's underlying technology, which are nanoparticles that Alistair uses to watch the entire city with, in order to bargain with him to make Kikine the number one esper in the city, to replace Accelerator. So during this arc, Frenda is captured by school, and gives away the hideout of Item to Kikine. In the novel, it is simply stated that Frenda betrayed Item out of likely fear for her own life, as she was up against the second ranked level 5 esper in the city, meaning that she didn't have much of a chance, so it makes sense that she would give in to school in that situation. However, the Index Manga expands on this. Frenda was forced to betray them via Gokusai Kaibi's Measure Heart ability, and this mental ability alters the emotional distance between Kaibi and her victim likely making Frenda think that Kaibi could be trusted with the information. Although the Index Manga itself isn't part of the main canon, the light novel is, yet we can still likely interpret this as Kamachi's intended version of events, Kamachi Kazuma being the author of Index, since he does have a lot of say on what goes on in the manga. Now, if you are a huge Frenda fan, I'm really sorry for breaking this news. You will likely hate me for telling you that Frenda is brutally killed by Mugano, her boss, aka Meltdowner. And she is killed for giving away this information. Mugano sliced her body in half, which is why you see many people online typing Frenda with like a dash in the middle of the name Frenda due to her unfortunate demise as she is cut in half. So yeah, that is why Frenda was not at Saturn's house, and knowing this information certainly makes the scene in Railgun T more somber and depressing. I know not all of you have watched Index and don't know why Frenda did not turn up at Saturn's house, so hopefully this clarifies it for you fans who aren't really interested in the Index series, but even so, knowing this, please give the Index series a chance. Like, the anime is not that good, but the manga and light novels are definitely better in my opinion, so please check them out and learn more about the main characters of the series. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're a Railgun or Index fan, please subscribe to me for more related videos, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.